I think AI can take us out of this industrial system. I mean, the problem is that people were never made to live in industry, right? People are inherently creative and they're inherently social. We're not meant to work like machines. AI will do all that production for us and we get our time back and we can be creative or make other people smile. AI is everywhere. A mobile phone is the remote of your life. And I think this is already happening. We have it in our pockets. It's like AI on the edge. The rise of AI is important because more people should learn about the potential of applying artificial intelligence in industry and understand also the influences on society. Conferences have less of a sort of filter bubble feature than online communication. So we were growing from 14 people to 600 in four years and it started with just an evening meetup and now it's a full day conference. It also grows in the density of the topics, um, whereas a few years ago it was more like a dream of how will artificial intelligence change the world. Uh, now it's becoming a subject of um, real action. The well, main essence of my work in AI is to how to maximize the benefit of this technology for the benefit of the countries, benefit of the people, benefit of the communities, and how to minimize the risks. Because we should never forget that there will be risks associated with this technology and we should really understand the risks and find the solutions how to mitigate the risks. We come now into an environment where we constantly have to learn new things. And I think that's the new norm. But it's a big shift from the previous one. And I think there's going to be tension that arises between that kind of thinking and the new needs of you know, an AI or a data-fueled world. The likelihood that an AI will evolve that will kill us all is so close to zero. I, there, there are many other things that will wipe us off the earth first. And most of them is us. <laughs> the thing is, human society and associated technologies they are being developed, like they're unfolding right now. So the, the choice isn't to figure out the optimal way to do it or not. The choice is, do we try to do something better than the sort of oligopolistic, militaristic way that the powers that be, that be are doing it? And so that, that's what we're trying to do. Every industrial revolution was different and I'm sure that this is also different from the others. Therefore, yeah, this is really our sort of task as a global community to understand the issue better and to find the solutions and to find the solutions as soon as possible. Otherwise, we might get in trouble. I think there will be nothing without AI in future. And so it is nearly everything.